In the Karni industrial zone on Gaza's eastern edge, the Matuk factory churned out big plastic tubs of ice cream that made their way to the company's five stores sprinkled throughout the city. Just behind the plant, the Harir factory made its own contribution to compulsive snacking by cranking out salted potato chips, which could be washed down with one of the hundreds of thousands of bottles of Coca-Cola manufactured and stored nearby. Those businesses are now mostly scorched husks of singed metal and melted plastic, casualties of the latest bout of violence last month that pitted Israel against Hamas, the Palestinian militant group that rules over this Mediterranean wedge of territory between Israel and Egypt. The sights and sounds of active combat are absent now in Gaza, with a May 21st truce still holding. While life has quickly returned to normal in Israel, the business owners in this industrial zone, once billed as a showcase project designed to strengthen Israeli-Palestinian ties, and in Gaza at large see little hope for a swift recovery. The 11-day war killed more than 240 people in Gaza and 13 in Israel. During the fighting, Hamas fired more than 4,000 rockets, the majority of which were intercepted by Israel's Iron Dome missile defense system. Those that got through damaged one, 325 buildings, Israeli media reported. For its part, the Israeli military said its air and artillery strikes on Gaza hit more than one, 500 targets, a wave of devastation that has left hundreds of buildings as well as more than one, 800 commercial units destroyed or damaged, according to initial estimates from the economy and public works ministries in Gaza. That is fewer than the approximately six, 500 commercial units partially or completely destroyed over 50 days in the 2014 confrontation between Hamas and Israel. But Gaza was already reeling from the compound effects of the COVID-19 pandemic and the stringent blockade imposed by Egypt and Israel after Hamas took power in the territory in 2007. Now, fully 70% of the enclave's 2 million people are struggling with food insecurity and require assistance, World Food Programme officials say. Unemployment hovers around 69%. Coming on top of all that, the war's disastrous impact on Gaza's business community, with Israeli assaults reducing entire commercial towers to rubble and chopping up major commercial thoroughfares, is so great that recovery will be harder than ever. Trade has been disrupted just when it's needed most. Israel blames Hamas for embedding its bases and infrastructure near civilian areas. Even so, in the past, Israeli forces spared areas like the Karni Industrial Zone, said Wadi Masri, who heads PADICO Holding, the company involved in creating the zone. Indeed, that formed part of the attraction for businesses to move there. Before, even if Hamas fighters snuck in, the Israeli side would communicate with the business owners, who made Hamas pull the fighters back without firing a shot, Masri said.